Okay, and I have um, something different for you guys today, and it's technically cannot be counted as a, how do I say it, um, as a baby got scraps, because yes, I picked out scraps for the two portions of my pocket that needed something, so I have this, and oh, I can't pick it up, and these ones here, um, but at the beginning of the month, I told you guys I was going to go through my outdoor bin, which is this bin right here, um, and destash. I'm going to start destashing what I'm going to start destashing each category. But this month, I picked the outdoor bin because that's basically what I started um, scrapbooking in uh, the the <laughs> this month, I should say. And so it was just one of those where I decided to do that, but. Not only do I have this bin, which is this thick, full of supplies, um, I also found this bin. <laughs> you guys, this is ridiculous. I, I did not know this until the beginning of this month that I had this bin full of all of this stuff as well as this bin, which it was just this bin, so I don't know what happened. I don't know how this happened unless I started putting newer stuff away in that other bin um, when I was I was just working out of this bin and I, I kept telling myself okay I'm gonna work out of this bin and then go here so um, I'm gonna work out of this bin today for these two pages that is the whole goal and then what I'm gonna do after now it's not gonna be on the same video it's gonna be tomorrow's video um, I will show you guys what I de-stashed and set it up for um, you know, the the comments and whatnot, and, and tell you guys how to put in for the giveaway, right? Okay, so in all honesty, I have these two pages to do, and they are front and back. I only have these two little pockets that need something um, on the top, and I might switch that so that way they're on the top and the bottom, but I don't believe that they're the same. No, they're not. This one is, um, they're not even the same location. So no, they're not even the same location. All right, I already said that. Um, so they won't be together in the album, um, but I might switch one of these around so that way it's somewhere else. However, they can't count as Baby Got Scraps because yes, I'm using these little bits of scraps, but in order for me to do what I like to do, I need at least um, one to two 12 by 12. So one 12 by 12 if I like both sides, um, for each layout, which it is a double page, so that is accountable. Um, but if I don't like it, then I'm going to need another 12 by 12 for the other side. So that's why I'm saying this is kind of a pushing it type of deal, but it's the end of the month and I'm good to go. I also wanted to share with you guys, which again will be tomorrow, um, all the scraps that I have left over because, oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like they multiplied. In all honesty, I feel like my scraps multiplied and that's that's unheard of normally I have very little scraps to share with you guys I am super excited with how many scraps um, but I don't know if this project that I did all month long hindered me using my scraps or helped me I don't know I do know I'm excited that uh, I got all my pages done woohoo I'm super stoked about that but the first thing I'm gonna do is go through this bin and find my two pages or four depending on um, what I find for all of these. And then I will come back and create those two little pockets for you guys or maybe decorate on the outside like I like to do, things like that. So um, we are gonna get going and uh, I will, I will uh, be right back. Yes, I will. So for the papers that I have picked out, I actually found this cut file from the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. I can't wait to finally use that up because I'm thinking it's a little over a year old. I also have these really cool pine trees that were gifted to me from Deb. Thank you so much, Deb. And then I have a few... Um, Oh, 49 and market items, these little handmade embellishments that I purchased from Sarah, um, her Etsy shop, some chipboard from 49 and market. This frame, I believe, is also 49 and market, and it just keeps going. A little patch. I mean, just random stuff that I am looking forward to using. Okay, so now this can be considered a baby got scrap because for layout 
one. I have this 12 by 12 that I can use front and back and this 12 by 12 that I can use front and back for the second set of layout that I'm going to be doing. <laughs> That's not proper English, but it works for me. Um, and they are both 49 and Market, the uh, Hike More collection. And then I have these um, scraps that I showed you previously. So anyways, went ahead and trimmed off all my photos, my papers, all that stuff, and put everything in pockets. Now, I put all the photos back in the pockets because all my elements are rather large and I just decided that I am going to have everything on the outside. I'm not even going to um, think about it, worry about it, nothing. Everything is going to be on the outside. So I left everything inside the pockets um, instead of trying to work with um, just the four by six uh, little area that I have. Okay, and then I went and I divided up all of my elements so that way I had some for one page and some for the other page. And I'm going to start with the page on the left and um, go ahead and back this cut file with more scraps. So I found another scrap that I think this was left over from, um, oh my gosh, uh, oh, our, our wood cutting layout that we did um, or that I did. So I think that that's where that came from. And then I picked out this paper rose six by um, eight piece of paper. Actually, both of the next pieces are uh, the paper rose. And I thought that that was just a beautiful sky um, blue in order, you know, for um, what I'm going for. And then the pads, the paws, the paw pads <laughs> on this cute little paw is going to be um, this charcoal gray from the other paper rose. And I went ahead and I skipped um, me backing each one. And uh, that is what it looks like. So then I'm going to do a little bit of manipulation to these trees because they were just a little too flat. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my finger and scuffing up each of the little tree um, branches and then I'm smooshing them all down, taking my ink pad with walnut stain ink and going to go ahead and just ink up the rough edges after squishing down. Now I'm not looking to make them all brown, but I definitely wanted to be able to see the branches within the pine trees and I think that that effect really took place once I was able to get that done. All right so for this side here it's super simple I'm going to take the paw the pre-made cluster by Sarah thank you Sarah and um, add a butterfly and ta-da I'm done. That's how simple <laughs> some of these can be seriously and then I'm going to take my scrap piece of green paper which I believe that this particular one was from the farmhouse uh, garden collection uh, from my uh, kit conspiracy kit <laughs> words are gone today you guys um, and then I'm scuffing up the edges and inking the edges and then I'm just going to have a band go across because I have all of this dead space between the two photos um, I'm not particular on needing to read my shirt uh, things like that I've got three photos with uh, sky um, in them and so I think that that's absolutely perfect I have this leftover circle uh, like a gingham circle that uh, I mean just it's awesome it feels so good to use up all of these leftovers you guys I, I just can't and these trees were absolutely perfect I love that and then a little um, uh, adding a little bit of 49 and market to them and I love them oh my gosh they were absolutely perfect um, to create a, a really cool title border going across my layout so anyways, I went ahead and put the green piece of paper across my layout to make it look like it was one long 12 by 12 piece of paper. So that worked out beautifully. And now I'm just using a little bit of glue to create my tree cluster um, because I have to glue the trees down before I can glue the title down because the title is pretty sticky. It, it's, I just take the little sticky back off. And um, to, uh, to be honest, these 49 and Market chipboard stickers actually stick pretty well. Um, sometimes they don't, sometimes they feel a little weak, um, but most of the time they are a pretty good stick considering everybody else out there in the market. Um, some people's don't stick and you have to add extra. Uh, for these particular ones, I do end up adding extra just because of the fact that they're not going in a page protector. Um, and I want to make sure that they stick, especially on top of these textured trees. Now look at the texture on those trees. I mean, just wrinkling them up and adding a little bit of ink to them just added so much more to those trees. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now I know 
She told me she used a punch. Um, and I, it's just, oh my gosh, what a fast and quick, easy way to get a layout done. All right. I thought the green was a little bit too plain for me. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of white splatter, not, um, only because of the fact that we are hiking in June and we're so high in elevation that there is still snow um, in our hiking spot. Uh, and this is where we stopped because we lost the trail. We were about 2,000 feet above where the trail actually was, which sounds like a lot, you guys. It really does. But we weren't lost. And it definitely is not that much. Um, we drive up to 7,000 feet and the trail takes us up to about 10. And we were off uh, a little bit um, from where the trail would have taken us to where we were supposed to go. But it was a great spot to stop, have lunch, take pictures in the snow with shorts and, and tank tops. <laughs> and, and, you know, tell everybody that it's June. <laughs> Such is life at, uh, you know, 10,000 feet. <laughs> but anyways, um, super fun, you guys. Uh, we, we love going and hiking in our mountains. We really do. And then this one here is another little hike. Like I said, that these two photos um, are not related whatsoever. This is actually the campground um, where we live. So our association um, provides a shooting range, a campground, golf course, um, archery, um, I don't know, boards. Um, an archery range, I guess I should say. Um, and the campground has a hiking trail as well. And, and truth be told, we've never been on it. So we thought that uh, we would take a, a little hike up the trail and see where it goes. And it goes on forever. It, we finally stopped and called it a, called it a good time and, and didn't continue where we were going just just to let you guys know that um we <laughs> because we didn't know where we were going and what the destination is um or anything like that and and we still had little kids you know um at this time uh Kyrie was still pretty little so yeah so we just hiked up um a good three miles and then finally decided okay well we don't know if this trail's even going anywhere <laughs> there was no um you know like no nothing to tell us where we were going type of deal. And so maybe we'll, we'll take it again, but it's definitely an incline um, compared to the one out in Lamoille. It, it, this trail is, you can feel going up. Um, so it was definitely uh, an incline compared to the other trails that we've been on. Um, and uh, also too, I definitely am leaving this a little bit on the plain side because of the fact that I want to use this wood grain as a journaling spot. So now I can, I can journal right on top of that wood grain. And then of course I highlighted our little truck because this was our last year having this uh, workhorse. It was my husband's favorite truck, but it started giving us problems. And we're at the point of our lives where, um, you know, we want worry-free vehicles, um, that sort of thing. And uh, so anyways, uh, needless to say, he got his first brand new truck the next year. So um, yeah, uh, that is it. Um, some of the other photos, if you guys catch it per chance on the other side of this um, of this one, you can actually, see, we're looking, we're overlooking Spring Creek. And so that's the valley that I live in, um, in case you guys are curious uh, and wanted to check it out. And not that you can see it from that far away, but uh, I think it's a pretty cool picture. And then, of course, um, us playing in the snow in June. <laughs> <laughs> at 9,000 feet. So, um, it, and it sounds like a lot, you guys, it really does. I live at 6,000, um, where we live is at 6,000. Um, and then we drive up to uh, about 7,400, um, before the trail starts and then, um, and then hike up uh, a good couple miles, um, and, and play at a lake. So it's, it's not as bad as it sounds. It, it is not, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm so lightheaded. Who knows? Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really, truly appreciate it. Please be sure to check out everyone else that is playing along with Baby Got Scraps, and I will check y'all later. Bye.